hi i'm just going to do a short video on how we kind of did a little fix up of our kitchen on our 3870 cruisers yacht originally when we bought this boat there was a massive big microwave housing here and there was just so like it's a small countertop and i found i didn't like the look of it my husband didn't mind but it was very um bulky I think we got like an extra eight inches or 10 inches of space. So now we can tuck, I have, I'll, there's pictures, but tuck the microwave in a bit more. Um, we also changed out the tap. Originally it was just a faucet and this was where the pullout was, but now this is a pullout faucet and this is where our dish soap goes. Now we don't have to have dish soap on the counter. The other thing we did was I put in this faux tile backsplash um, the back of it is like this vinyl and it's the shape of the hull so my husband made like a bit of a support structure um, almost kind of like a by two by what was it sure two by twos two by twos and then um, that's a piece of um, it's like a car like a thick it's not cardboard but like hardboard or part particle bird or something it's thin it's like an eight eight th inch because it's wider so you can't use like plywood because you never get it in there because it's wider at the back than it is at the front so this was able to kind of bend when we stuck it in there and we just put adhesive on it um, I'll post pictures of that was like um, peel and stick tile from Amazon um, whatever the look you want you can you know you could use um, what do you call that stuff? Peel and stick wallpaper, whatever you want, and colors you want, or what have you. Um, eventually, this is this was a fail, just so you know. This is kind of if you see how it's a little bit rusty. Okay, this works fine. It's just a regular, probably original, but this is a bit rusty. I did actually painstakingly tape all this off, sand the heck out of it, and use high heat paint but it didn't last, so that was a fail. Anyway, um, oh, what else did we do? So this originally had, um, you know when it's the like fluorescent bar under here, but you could see it because this little piece of trim wasn't there. So I went to, I don't know, Lowe's or Home Depot, got a piece that I thought would be a, a good size of, I think this might be maple, and tried the best I could to stain it the same. And um, we just glued it on and taped it up. And now you can't, so it looks a bit more finished. The trim's a bit nicer. And now you can't see the lights underneath. And that was it. I think it looks so much better. So that's the, whatever, you know, you have your own boat. You can think of things that you can do to make it more, you know, nicer for yourself. Oh, the other thing we did was this, these panels we replaced, they were this color. And for me, it was just too much cherry orange y color. So these just, you know, you take it apart, pop them off, and you can just order them right from this. Um, is it Norcool, whatever, Norcool or whatever it was website. And oh, and some of the trim was a bit dented. And I ordered a few, like some of this, this trim. This was. I don't know what was wrong with it. It was melted or something was not right. So I got a new new piece of this trim as well. But it's a big, this is the thing. It's a massive, we love this fridge. It's a nice big fridge. So because we have a big fridge, we don't have that, you know, big of a countertop. So taking out that microwave housing, it just made more, like we put our little Nespresso um, thing in the corner. I mean, it's the middle of winter storage right now. So there's nothing here. Um, so now we have um, uh, their magnetic sp spice things. They're like little discs full of spices. And those actually just, I kind of just magnetically stick them to, to the microwave. So there's more room without that ha housing there. Eventually I would love to take this whole thing off and get a Corian countertop and replace. I, actually, I don't know if I would even replace this because the burners on this are so small, you have to have a tiny little pot. Well, I like to cook with a big, 
you know, so you can't even have two things. So I'm thinking we scrap this all together and then just have a, you know, this portable induction cooktop if you need to, you know, cook down here and put, put it on and then it's all countertop space. And then you could take the power that goes to this because really there is not a lot of plugs. Um, and then you could, you know, put your plug here at the side and then it, you have another plug at least. So anyways, that's the plans. We're just kind of working on things. And then you could, you know, look at your own boat and think, well, how can I use it better? How was the space, ma you know, maximize the space, uh, the look. And so this worked for us and yeah, we, we really like it. I know somebody that has, like we just have a microwave here, but there's a really nice, I'd like to buy one, but it's like 500 bucks. Um, it's like a Cuisinart. It's a microwave, it's an actual oven. And what else is it? It's a microwave oven and air fryer. Like one of them, it's like a three in, three in one. So you can bake cookies and a pizza and everything in it. Anyways, and then you could have that there. So that when we do eventually, hopefully, go on long distance trips, we actually have an oven. Cause I mean, we really only have this. And we use the barbecue um, in the cockpit. And that's worked well for us for now, but you know, if you're going whatever long distances, it would be better. So that's it. That's pretty much my video on my tile. You could just go on Amazon, it's cheap. I mean, actually, you can get this stuff from the dollar store now, different kinds or whatever. So, whatever your look is, this is what I went with, and that was it. Neutral. Over and out. <laughs>